I'd like to call to order the 24th meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for today. Thank you, Mayor. There's a big difference between being a leader and being a boss. A boss demands blind obedience. A leader earns authority through understanding, respect, and trust. Thank you very much. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? There are 13 present. Uh, Alderman. Ex I'm sorry, there are 14 present. <laughs> One is remote. Okay. Uh, Alderman Hammond is uh, attending remotely, and Alderman Damro is excused. Uh, next would be the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Uh, are there any resignations this evening? No, there are not. And any appointments? No. Okay. Uh, at this time, I'd if there's no objection, I'd like to pull forward uh, 6.1. <clears throat> And I'd like to ask uh, Clerk Susan Richards to read this resolution. Thank you, Mayor. This resolution is by the entire council, and it states as follows. A resolution commemorating the distinguished service of Eldon E. Berg to the city of Sheboygan, whereas God in his divine wisdom has called from this life our valued friend and fellow alderman, Eldon E. Berg, who passed away on Friday, January 15, 2016, and whereas Eldon E. Berg served the citizens of the city of Sheboygan as an alderperson from the first district for 12 years, from 1999 to 2003, 2005 to 2007, and 2015 to 2016, and served as common council vice president for council year 2005-06, and as council president for council year 2006-07. And whereas during his tenure as alderperson, Mr. Berg served as a valuable member of numerous council committees, including public protection and safety, public works as a chair in 2002-2003, salary and grievances chair in 2005 and 6, lawn licensing, finance committee, industrial development commission, board of housing appeals, historic preservation commission, motor vehicle review committee, special public projects committee, housing rehabilitation committee, Sheboygan Transit Commission, Special Committee on Risk Management, uh, Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee, City County Shared Services, Group Health Insurance Committee, Labor Management Committee, Employee Remuneration Committee, Information Systems Steering Committee, Government Structure Committee, and whereas Mr. Berg assisted with the development of the Harbor Center Marina and South Pier by serving on the Marina Go Negotiations Committee, South Pier Advisory Committee, Blue Harbor Committee, and the Marina and Harbor Committee. And whereas, Mr. Berg served his constituents and the city of Sheboygan faithfully and honorably, being a man of outstanding ability and integrity. And whereas, Mr. Berg was a valuable member of the Sheboygan City Council, always legislating with an open mind and putting honesty and charity before all else, he will always be remembered as exemplifying the best qualities of leadership in public service to the city. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Common Council hereby commem commemorates the distinguished service rendered by Mr. Eldon E. Berg to the city of Sheboygan throughout his 12 years of service, expresses its sorrow for his passing, and offers to his wife, Fran, and his entire family its deepest sympathy. Thank you very much. Alderman Hammond? Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes unanimously.
I want to express our sympathy to the family and now we'll present this to Eldon's wife Fran and the family. Okay, the next item on the agenda is a presentation on Sheboygan's Green Tier Legacy Annual Report by Chad Pelichek. Chad? As your new sustainability coordinator, I just wanted to run through some of the uh, Green Tier. So Green Tier is an organization that the city belongs to. It's part of a collaborative between the League of Wisconsin Municipalities, a thousand friends of Wisconsin, um, a couple other nonprofits, and a number of cities, and they developed this charter to uh, kind of track sustainability efforts <coughs> across cities. Recently, they changed their charter to include uh, counties, so there'll be some counties coming on, but there's about a handful, I'd say a dozen or so, cities that are part of this charter. And every year we're, we're responsible to submit an annual report as to our accomplishments. So I just want to run through some of the stuff because some of the stuff, it's a department-wide um, initiative and it, it shows that the city's on track for some sustainability initiatives, especially with our recently adopted sustainability plan. So if you can go to the next slide. Um, this is just a cover of the plan. It was approved by the council a few meetings ago on the, on the consent agenda. Um, and you can see the green tier logo if you go to the next page. The first item on here is the uh, bike rodeos. That is a program that's uh, handled by the Sheboygan Police Department on a yearly basis, and it's to train kids on how to on bicycle safety skills, uh, fitting of uh, helmets, and that kind of stuff to be on the safe side of things. Next slide. We also did our first annual sustainability week with city employees this year. So the city planning orga uh, organized a. Uh, week for all city employees to play what we called bingo sustainability and it had different things that they needed to do at home or at work that were sustainable and they needed to take a selfie of themselves while they're doing um, the sustainable activities so we gardnered a lot of support from city employees on this and a lot of pictures that we can use in marketing efforts of people that were doing sustainable activities if you go to the next slide this is one city employee in the um, city assessor's office who won the uh, prizes so we got a bunch of donated uh, prizes and put together bags and as you won bingo you uh, won your free prizes a lot of it was based around the non-motorized program and some other activities next slide we also um, installed 87 desk side recycling bins in uh, city offices across the city which seems kind of weird that we wouldn't have them, but there wasn't uh, dedicated recycling bins in a lot of places. And the, ironically, there was a lot of city employees that didn't know what could be recycled, so we did an education effort on that. Um, and then we also added common um, communal bins, and you'll see those in some of the conference rooms in the city and in the hallways to try to encourage recycling. We also had the recycling czar in our office who went around and inspected people's garbage to make sure they were compliant. And we also had the janitors on board with us telling us who was compliant and who wasn't. Next slide. We got a grant from the Great Lakes uh, Shoreline Cities for 239000 for a beach restoration project that's now planned for fall of this year at DeLand and King Parks. Uh, but last fall, we partnered with the Alliance for the Great Lakes, and we did a beach cleanup with high school students from Sheboygan Falls High School, as well as water testing and uh, planting of dune grasses as part of this project. We've recently applied for another grant to do this for all of the 4th, 5th, and 7th, and 8th graders in the Sheboygan School District, um, hopefully this fall, if that should get funded. Next slide. Uh, we increased our downtown density, and you guys are to, uh, s a part of the solution of 172 market rate units coming into the downtown to provide housing for young professionals and redu reduction in the time workers spend commuting to Sheboygan for employment. And realist, ironically, I just did a presentation to the St. Dominic's, Dominic's Coffee Clutch Group, 
And um, eighty. F and one of the questions they asked is, how many people commute into Sheboygan for employment on a daily basis? And it's 8,500, 8,568 people are coming in on a daily basis for employment here in Sheboygan, which is, in my mind, a pretty high number. So as part of this initiative with the downtown housing, we're hoping that more people will decide to reside here. On the next slide, um, we did s street sweeping as a yearly program done in the Public Works Department. Uh, they collected 850 tons of sweeping debris. Um, we received a grant for 75000 that we have to match with 75000 to install new LED lights on Kohler Memorial Drive. Um, that project should be underway here in May uh, to change all the high-pressure sodium lights out from uh, 14th Street out to Taylor Drive. And then we received a grant for Penn Avenue reconstruction. Uh, we've done some tree planting. We did the first ever hot in place asphalt recycling, which they did a presentation on, and we continue to control invasive species in uh, parklands and along Sheboygan River. Next slide. The Sheboygan, Sheboygan Task Force, Sustainable Task Force, has changed its kind of focus uh, late in the year, and they've developed four criteria that they're going to, um, their, guide, their group has been divided up and they're working on. So. Uh, typically, they had different committees in the past, and they all worked on different things, and now we're working on some specific things to get some accomplishments. So the four things are the implementation of a recycling compost, a, re a residential composting program um, to encourage people to compost in their backyards, uh, implementation of a rain barrel program, uh, the development of a city sustainable website, and then continuation of the residential recycling outreach to try to get more recyclables out of the garbage to lower our tipping costs. Next slide. So in 2015, we developed the Blue Bay campaign, and um, the flyer that you see the picture on the right is uh, something that we, we purchased 5,000 blue bags, and we've got a group of people that are going out and distributing these to schools and getting schools and student councils uh, interested in um, recycling. So they go home with the intent of having their parents uh, recycle and understand that they need to use a blue bag in order to get their recyclables picked up. So we developed this brochure to go with the blue bags. We also uh, sent out 15,000 recycling brochures in water bills. Um, and then in 2015, um, an additional 435 tons of recycling was collected. So it's not, we're not at the mayor's goal of 40% um, recycled, but we continue to um, make headway with this, and the groups continue to look at ways to get the word out there on the importance of recycling to lower our, or our overall garbage collection costs. On the next page... Um, we continued the Sheboygan, uh, the square, which is a downtown dedicated bus route, and wrapped a bus um, dedicated to that, as you can see in the picture. And then uh, we're also working on an implementation of a bike share program, which would allow people to rent bikes in the downtown and South Pier on a carousel and drive them around and then just bring them back. So this is a program that we're hoping to uh, roll out later this year to try to encourage more biking in our downtown. Next slide. Good side grocery expanded on A Street. Um, the city <coughs> provided a twenty-five thousand dollar loan to them to expand into a new storefront, and you know bring in more local foods <coughs> and stuff opportunities to people downtown to try to fill fill a small need of a grocery store, which we hear a lot about. Um, which we're hoping once we get more people living downtown, we can try to encourage a, a little bit larger grocery store to come to the downtown. Next slide. So we, some other general activities, the council passed a resolution nominating me as the sustainability coordinator, and then we welcomed the city's first sustainable intern to Sheboy, uh, city planning this past year, and it's a position we're hoping to continue uh, next, this coming summer, but we had a student, a college student that came in and worked uh, part-time with us and did a lot of research and, and worked on uh, strategies to implement stuff as outlined in our sustainability plan and then she got to understand how government worked and in turn was able to uh, get some credits in at her training at UW Stevens Point. And then the last thing is is that the Sheboygan Wastewater Treatment Plant, um, there's been a lot of talk about the dryer program and the biogas um, collecting that to dry the, 
solids to 204 degrees. And the final product is a pellet sized dry product that is safe to be used on lawns and trees and flowers and stuff. So it's, and, and not only that, they've done a lot over the years in the treatment plant with um, biogas and generators and trying to create a net zero. So they've done a very, you know, efficient um, operation down there. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much what we have accomplished for the year, and we're on track with a number of initiatives in this next year, so we'll be happy to report on 2016, and if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Any questions for Chad? Chad, thank you very much for that report. Is there any public forums? No, not this evening. <clears throat> okay, next we'll go on with Mayor's announcements. I'd like Lieutenant Darrell Majorly to join me up at the front. The uh, Salvation Army, which Darrell is uh, uh, the leader of in Sheboygan, has just celebrated their 120th anniversary, and we have a proclamation to deliver in honor of this occasion. Whereas the Salvation Army is an international movement, is an evangelical part of the Universal Christian Church, message is based in the Bible, and its ministry is motivated by the love of God. Its mission is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet the human needs in his name without discrimination. And whereas the vision of the Salvation Army of Sheboygan is to join with the community as agents of hope to enhance the comprehensive Christ-centered services that promote self-sufficiency. And whereas this year marks the 120th anniversary of the Salvation Army's presence in Sheboygan County, and whereas the Salvation Army works daily to instill hope foster accountability, and provide a safe haven. And whereas the Salvation Army's annual Red Kettle Campaign and Bell Ringers are a time-honored holiday tradition that heralds the beginning of the Christmas season. And whereas year after year, the officers, soldiers, volunteers, and staff of the Salvation Army of Sheboygan have touched the lives of thousands of men, women, and children through programs such as emergency lodging, free medical care, food pantry, utility assistance, work boots, other clothing, youth programming, child care, Christmas toy shopping, and coats for kids. And whereas the Salvation Ride be, brings the community together to provide an opportunity to participate in a fun, healthy activity while raising money to support the Salvation Army's many life-enhancing programs, this family-friendly event also promotes tourism in the Sheboygan area. And whereas by providing these important community services and doing so with care and compassion for, the, for everyone who enters their doors, the Salvation Army is a vital and well-respected member of the Sheboygan community. I'm Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, to hereby wish to congratulate and extend my personal thanks and appreciation for those of the entire City of Sheboygan for our Salvation Army on the occasion of their 120th anniversary. Daryl, congratulations. And would you like to say a few words, please? Thank you, Mayor. On behalf of the Salvation Army, I just want to uh, tell you how humbled and how truly grateful we are for the support of the city, as well as the generosity of the citizens of Sheboygan, who really make what we do possible on a daily basis. Thank you, and God bless each of you. Next, I'd like to uh, represent an award that was given to the city at the Chambers uh, Working Together Award in their, uh, their gala that was recently held. Um, this project that was recognized was our, our summer concert series that was held in the uh, former Boston Store property. And uh, we received the Working Together Award, and I'd like to call Chad Pelich up. Up, Pelichek up to accept this award because he really headed up all of our efforts in this. Uh, working with John Michael Kohler Art Center was a great partner and also the uh, Sheboygan Squared Business District. Chad, congratulations. Thank you. you say all I can say is be prepared for an exciting year because the lineup is coming out soon and it should be a great time for all while we have construction going on on the north side of the lot. So we're looking forward to it. Thanks.
I also want to let you know that today we received a communication from the Arbor Day Foundation and they have again named uh, the city of Sheboygan a Tree City USA for 2015. This is our 38th year of consecutively receiving this award and that's the longest stretch of any community in the state of Wisconsin. So that's really good to hear. And I thank Joe for all the work in uh, making sure that uh, we are involved with our, our trees and uh, continuing to plant and uh, keep our trees up in the city. Joe Curlin is our park and forestry director who's in the audience. Um, the last uh, thing I'd like to do is again call Chad up to introduce us to members of the Near North Association. Uh, these uh, leaders have worked with uh, city planning and uh, our police department, and uh, they have a very important resolution on the agenda later. Thank you. I'd like to ask Ryan Berg and Joe Clark to come forward. And what we wanted to do was um, they have successfully worked in the Near North neighborhood, which is bordered by A Street, Superior, Geely, and the Lake. Is that your boundaries? Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> so anyway, they, in, later in your resolution, there, in the document, there's a resolution uh, recognizing them as the fourth neighborhood association to be recognized by the city. And this has been a great initiative. Um, it's taken some time for neighbors to come forward, but these guys are leading the charge in their neighborhood. And Nancy Marring in my office has kind of worked with them from day one and originally lived in the neighborhood um, and worked to get them to become an official neighborhood association. And since we're really trying to promote this and get other neighbors on board, I thought it was pertinent for the, these guys to be recognized as the fact that uh, they're the new leaders in that neighborhood. And um, we welcome them to the community and the, neighbor, and the family of neighborhood associations. So would you guys like to say anything? <laughs> I should not have stood right next to the mic. Yes. Um, you know, first off, um, you know, on behalf of you know my my uh, stepmom, my sister, my wife, my sister's fiance, and all of us, you know, that are related to my dad, um, we're humbled and grateful, you know, for the for the resolution that you had passed earlier, uh, honoring a, a true servant leader, and we are grateful. For, for that. Now, granted, if, if he would have found out that this was going on, he probably would have answered with a swear word. But, <laughs> um, but he would have been pleased. And for that, we thank you. Um, but on to the matters at hand, the Near North neighborhood is something that Joe, myself, Nancy, even though she abandoned us by moving as we were about ready to settle up, as, as we were about ready to, to become a neighborhood, um, you know, and many other people have worked tirelessly over the past nearly two years, you know, to um, to come together and come up with plans, some wonderful ideas, which which uh, which Mayor Vandersteen and his cabinet will be hearing shortly, um, if he hasn't heard already, um, about things that we can do to make the Near North neighbors a true neighborhood where we work together, um, play together and resolve our problems together. And that's something that Joe and myself and everyone else that's been involved in our committee, um, are, we're very, very excited to finally give birth to this. And our first meeting is gonna be on April 5th. So thank you. You wanna say anything, Joe, or are you good? Thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to, if there's no objection, pull 9.3 forward. Item 9.3 is resolution number 153 of 1516 by Alderman Donahue officially recognizing the neighborhood association named Near North Neighbors. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I, I could not hear what you were up, what you were saying. Looking for a resolution, I mean, a, a motion to pass the resolution 9.3. 9.2, I put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Congratulations, you're all set.
Okay, the next thing we'll go on to a hearing. Item 2.1 is a hearing regarding the Community Development Block Grant one-year annual action plan and the proposed funding allocations for the 2016-2017 program year. Alderman Hammond. I think we need to have the hearing first and then. Very good. Is there anyone wishing to be heard on this matter? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? It's all yours, Don. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the hearing. Second. The uh, motion and, and second to close the hearing. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Then we'll move on to the consent agenda. Um, it includes items 3.2 through 3.23. Don? Alderman Hammond? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all reports to committee, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of those items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to communications. Item 4.1 is a communication from Jim Amodio giving a notice of retirement effective May 1st of 2016. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept this file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Oppo opposed? Motion passes. Under reports of officers, items uh, 5.1 through 5.3 will be referred to uh, various committees. Under resolutions, uh, item 6.2 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond, Donahue, Lassard, Bellinger, approving the fiscal year 2016 one-year annual action plan for the Community Development Block Grant Program submission. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I need uh, Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you. Um, I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Thirteen eyes, one abstention. Motion passes. Item 6.3 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing city officials to execute an agreement for medical direction between the city of Sheboygan dash Sheboygan Police Department and Aurora Healthcare Central Incorporated regarding the Sheboygan Police Department's Naxalone program. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Once again, I move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Um, I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on this motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes. Motion, motion passes. Item 6.4 is a resolution by Alderman Donahue establishing a committee structure subcommittee for the city of Sheboygan. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I would move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any sus objection to suspension? Seeing none, pre please proceed. Thank you. I would move to put the resolu resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, Alderman Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as uh, there has been a lot of talk about downsizing this council, and this is the start of this, I'm not going to support this uh, measure only because I don't think the, the council needs to be downsized. 
Um, I don't think the council's broken. I don't think the committee structure is broken. And to me, downsizing <coughs> this common council will only give our citizens less representation. So I guess I want to go on record of not supporting that uh, prerogative or the, the going forward with this. And uh, I guess I just wanted to make that known. Thanks. Thank you for your comments. Alderman Donahue. Uh, thank you, Mayor. And while I appreciate Alderman Heideman's uh, sentiments on the matter, the plain fact is we have passed a resolution which uh, reduces the size of the council from 16 to 10 persons. And uh, that will be in full place, as I understand it, by 2018. The purpose of this committee is for the council to look overall at how it does business and how it can do it in the most efficient way that really benefits our citizens. Like any business, whether private or public, it's really necessary from time to time to look at how you do business to see if there are better ways, more efficient ways uh, that uh, matters can be addressed. So we do hope that the end result will be, um, I guess I would call it a leaner and meaner kind of uh, structure that will allow the 10 alders uh, who will be in place in 2018 to do the city's business in the best and most efficient way, also without burning themselves out. Thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eleven eyes, three no's. Motion passes. Uh, the um, item six point five through six eleven will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item seven point one is an RC by Public Works, who met and discussed entering into a contract with Vanell Industries Inc. for the purchase of three twenty-five yard capacity Spartan Leaf Pro plus wagons and passenger side pickup option for the replacement of four tandem axle dump trucks currently used in leaf collection operations. The committee makes no resolution to the council regarding the attached uh, report of officer and resolution. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we debated this at the committee last week and it was a, a vote of two to two, so there was no um, uh, recommendation coming out of out of committee um, what this is is it's um, about three years ago we purchased four um, leaf vacuuming uh, units and um, they were pulled by tandem axle trucks and uh, the leaves were then discharged into the back of these trucks and uh, what we found that the trucks, that's their only use, these tandem axle trucks, is for these, the leaf collecting that's done each fall. And um, as a result of that, uh, those trucks are of 1995 vintage, and it's my understanding that they're in very poor condition. Uh, the frames aren't suitable. They really aren't roadworthy any longer. And to replace those trucks, um, it's around $250,000 alone for the vehicles, and they serve no other purpose. So in lieu of that, um, what um, Director Beebel has come up with in his staff is um, a different uh, piece of equipment. And instead of four units, they only need three. And the capacity, uh, what happens is they've got a self-contained uh, leaf collection system where they um, can, uh, can, can hold more leaves than the backs of these tandem axle trucks and they can be pulled by a regular one-ton truck, which the city has many of those um, at its disposal and can use. Uh, now the cost of this, uh, the equipment is, I believe it's $191,000, uh, but there is a, re or, uh, to, to dispose of the existing units and the old trucks, I think we can expect to get roughly $79,000 back from that. And so that is a net cost of $112,000. And when going through this, um, it, it was my opinion, and I've held this opinion uh, ever since I, I moved to Sheboygan, uh, is that I'm kind of baffled why the city, in fact, collects leaves. Uh, the city doesn't, you know, shovel your driveway. It doesn't mow your lawn. It doesn't, you know, why are they collecting leaves? Why isn't it the individual responsibility of the resident to take care of their own leaf picking? 
or collection and, and uh, dropping it off into a, a site. And I've lived all over the Midwest, you know, where <coughs> trees shed their leaves every fall, and I've never had a municipality do, do provide this service. So um, it was my recommendation that we eliminate this service altogether and um, get out of the leaf collecting business. There's a significant equipment cost, as you've just seen, and there's a significant labor cost every fall. And as it was described at our meeting, it's an approximately seven or eight week snowstorm where every day they've got crews out collecting, you know, leaves for that period of time. And uh, in the past, when I've discussed this issue, I've always been uh, brought with the objection of the DNR. The DNR mandates that the city collects leaves. So what I did was I contacted the DNR. I had numerous emails go back and forth with the DNR. And uh, their response to me was, uh, and I'll read it from an email, um, the city is not required to collect leaves, but per the following permit condition in the pollution prevention program, they are required to have proper management of leaves and grass clippings. This could be accomplished through a com composting facility accessible to the public to collect the yard waste. The city may not just vacate leaf collection without providing a reasonable alternative. And this was from uh, an email sent to me by Brooke Yonke from the Wisconsin DNR. And, um, and in further conversations with Director Beeble, the, the city would have to um, amend the permit and do some continuing education. And uh, whatever um, remedy that we come up with, it would have to be um, su substantially similar to what we're achieving in collecting leaves right now. But it's my belief that uh, the city could eliminate this and provide an alternative at a significantly less um, expensive cost than you know, the $112,000 that we're looking at right here. So for that reason, there, there was, um, the vote was two to two, and um, I would like to make um, a recommendation to um, just file this document and you know, get out of the leaf collecting business. Is that an official motion? Yes. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion on the floor to file the document. Uh, under further discussion, Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I guess since it wasn't on the agenda, I would just ask City Attorney um, Adams <coughs> if this motion is appropriate. I think the motion is appropriate to file is appropriate, but the additional language was not on the agenda and would not be appropriate at this point. So I, I think that perhaps severing the motion at this point would be the most appropriate way to do this? Or I guess I'm just concerned that all of a sudden a, a, a very valuable and important <coughs> service to our citizens is being referred to a committee without any notice or any... I mean, I appreciate Alderman Bellinger's uh, reasoning. I think there are many, many good reasons to argue against that, uh, which I would, you know, pretty adamantly do. But I'm just wondering procedurally. It seemed to me that the, maybe the best thing to do would be just to refer this motion back to committee, um, particularly as it sounds like uh, that that Director Beeble has an alternative proposal, as I was understanding what Alderman Bellinger was saying. And the, the committee with, and this was a 2-2 vote, so if the committee were at full force, there might be uh, a majority opinion about the new program. And then if Alderman Bellinger does want to bring a, a resolution to eliminate leaf pickup, you know, he would certainly be free to do that. So just however the best way would be to handle that, I would suggest that's how we do it. Okay, the motion on the floor is to file, and uh, that would have to be withdrawn in order to refer back to committee. Um, uh, there's a number of lights that are on, and, and David Beeble's trying to get my attention, so at this time I'd like to ask Director Beeble to come up and, uh, and speak to the motion to file. Thanks, Mayor. Um, yeah, we've, we had this discussion and respect 
Alderman Bellinger's opinion on this. Um, it is an operational um, battle for the department every year. However, it's, it's a public service that the department has provided for at least 30 some years, probably more so. Um, what we've proposed with this equipment, in, in our opinion and with our staff's review, is really um, a cost-effective, efficient measure moving forward. If, if we're gonna stay collecting leaves as a public service to the citizens at the curbside, um, we're not unique in this. This is throughout Wisconsin, and as John has alluded to, it's true. It's not a mandate. However, it is part of our stormwater pollution permit that we have to file annually. So communities typically will pick up leaves at the curb because we're out sweeping the streets already. It's effective. We can collect a ton of leaves. I mean, annually, in fact, in 2014, we collected over 1,900 tons of leaves that was documented. In 2015, it was over 1,800, about 100 tons difference. So if we get out of the leaf business and we direct it elsewhere or we could have a compost site, it has to still be managed, it has to be documented, and we have to make sure that we attain at least that similar amount of tonnage on an annual basis or, or come up with other programs to meet the stormwater permit regulations. So um, I guess what I would ask if, if you have concerns yet, it's not fully rejected. Um, we, timing is of the essence because if we don't order this equipment within the next month, we're gonna get back logged in terms of getting the equipment delivered on time for this fall coming season. So that's some of our concern. But I, I would urge you just not to just reject the program at this point and we can develop other, other alternatives and come up with some costs. But we had a compost site in the city. We used to manage that. Uh, compost sites are now regulated further by the DNR and there's monitoring and permitting along with that. So it's, it's not as if we can just put them in a pile and forget about them. So um, if the council so desires, again, I would, I would urge not just to file, at least refer it and we can come back out of committee with further information or if the committee and the council feel so desired that they wanna continue this program, um, this equipment again, most effective, cost effective, as well as efficient as well for operations. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. P proceeding then, Alderman Jose. Um, I guess if rather than file it, maybe I would like to make a motion to table it for 30 days. I would, this came, I was, I'm not I'm on the Department of Public Works Committee and um, I asked that night before the meeting closed if this would be coming to the next council meeting because that's kind of fast. I would like time to discuss with my constituency whether they want to continue this program or if, to be, to be honest, I think a lot of my uh, constituency would like to see more money at this time going to fixing the roads. So if we can save some money in this area for the city, if we get done efficiently where we can get a reasonable savings, I would rather see the, the savings go to fixing more roads, and I think my constituency would support that, but I would like additional time to put that question out there um, to the public. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Boring. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to be at the public works meeting last Tuesday night. Had I been there, I would have voted to go ahead with the purchase uh, I've been on the Public wor Works Committee for a number of years. I can't remember how many. It's got to be five or six. Chairman a couple of years. And uh, I appreciate the work that the, uh, the guys do down at Public Works and collecting the leaves. I think the city has it down to a science with the various zones. I think mine is on Monday. And I know my constituents, for the most part, are out there religiously gathering their leaves for pickup. In fact, yesterday morning, my wife and I were on our way to church, and we, uh, my wife commented to me how clean everything looks, looked in our neighborhood and going down past Roosevelt Park. And I venture to say there's not too many communities that look like this in the spring and March. Everything else is brown, but the leaves are gone. And I think it's very important that we continue this service so that we don't have clogged sewers and water backing up. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm going to vote, if it comes to that tonight, I'm going to vote for the purchase uh, of this equipment, and I think it's very important that we continue the service. Thank you. 
Thank you for the comments. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Um, would the proper then to withdraw and then refer back to committee? Uh, the city attorney has just advised me that a, a motion to refer would take precedence. It's non-debatable, and uh, that would override the, the motion to file. I will make a motion to refer back to the Public Works Committee. Second. Second. Okay, we have a, a motion to refer back to the Public Works Committee, uh, so we're not going to be able to hit the other lights. Um, all those, in, was it, did, did you roll call? Uh, sure. Okay, clerk will call the roll. <clears throat> Rosemary, got it. Thirteen eyes, one no. Motion to refer back to committee passes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, moving on to 7.2 is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number 154 of 1516 by Alderman Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2016 budget to establish estimated revenue and appropriation for the contract with Truck Country of Wisconsin for an upgrade of the de-icing tank system on the two Freightliner trucks and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Move to accept, adopt, and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion on the motion? Please call the roll. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 7.3 is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number 155 of 1516 by Alderman Hammond being a resolution supplementing resolution number 100 of 0506 awarding the sale of $2,125,000 in water utility revenue refunding bonds series 2016 and providing for the payment of said bonds and other details and covenants and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Hammond. Mr. Mayor, I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to open the floor or yield the floor to Carol Worth, please. Thank you. Is there any objection? Seeing none, Carol, please come forward. Okay, good evening. Uh, we have distributed uh, two, actually two handouts here. Uh, one is a summary, we call it a summary of sale report that um, is describing what you are acting on in this resolution. Okay? This resolution is uh, a resolution to borrow, but the good news is that it's to borrow to refinance some outstanding debt. They're called <coughs> revenue bonds from the water utility that were sold back in 2005. And now there is uh, $2,135,000 of those bonds outstanding at interest rates of 4.1%. So we're going to, uh, with this action, refinance those with $2,115,000 worth of new 2016 revenue bonds at an interest rate of 1.518%. And in the process, uh, the difference between those two interest rates, uh, there is a savings generated, and that savings is $248,000, roughly, uh, that occurs over a 10-year period. Uh, the process also included us preparing the city and the water utility to go to uh, bond rating through Moody's Investor Service, and Moody's has reaffirmed the AA2 bond rating on the water utility, which is a very, very high credit rating. It's only two notches below the highest AAA that you could achieve, 
So it's an excellent rating. And uh, then we went to the next step, which was to take bids from underwriters. And we received this morning six different bids. And the winning bid was from the firm of BOSC Inc. It's called Bosque Inc., which is uh, the former uh, trading desk of uh, MNI Bank. And they opened up a Milwaukee office uh, under that firm name. And the action of this resolution is to award the sale of these bonds to that successful bidder of Bosque Inc. at that interest rate of that 1.518%. And the other action that's occurring in this resolution is to notify the bondholders of the 2005 revenue bonds that the city is exercising its right to stop the interest on their bonds as of May 1st of 2016, and that's that interest that's out there at 4.1%. <coughs> so uh, this resolution provides for all of that uh, to happen, um, locks in the interest rates, and the money is delivered to the utility on April 20th, and on May 1st, those 2005s are com bonds are completely paid off. So. Thank you very much, Carol. Is there any questions? I was just advised by the clerk that the correct amount should be $2,115,000. Right. Okay. Yes. All right. So we uh, to have that document on the floor. Is there any further discussion? Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, I'm going to have to abstain on this. Uh, my wife and I have uh, I purchased this bond before I was on the council, but I still own it, so I'm going to abstain on the vote. Thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Thirteen eyes, one abstention. Motion passes. Thank Excuse you. us a minute while we sign documents. Carol, thank you very much for your assistance with this refunding project. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Next, we'll move on to 7.4, which is an RC by finance, to whom was referred resolution number 160 of 1516 by Alderperson Hammond, direct referral, authorizing the city of Sheboygan to enter into a contract for Tyler Content Manager Enterprise Upgrade for retention of documents in a digital format and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept mm. to adopt and put the resolution upon passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Items 7.5 through 7.21 will be uh, referred to various committees. Uh, under ordinances, 8.1 is an ordinance by Alderman Donahue, Heidemann, Boren, and Hammond amending general ordinance number 40 of 0708, establishing the salaries of crossing guards. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I would move to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Uh, accordingly, I would uh, move to uh, put the uh, resolution on its passage. Second. S Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Thank you very much. Clerk, please call the roll. <clears throat> 
14 ayes. Motion passes. 8.2 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. Uh, number nine under matters laid over. 9.1 is RO number 292 of 1516 by the purchasing agent submitting a summary of anticipated expense for the provision of financial advisory services on a contract renewal basis for a period of April 1st of 16 through 331 of 18. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept the file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any uh, discussion on the motion? Seeing none, well, the, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. 9.2 is a resolution number 152 of 1516 by Alderman Koth, Heideman, Wolf, Donahue, authorizing entry into a contract for renewal for obtaining financial advisory services, formerly referred to as bond council services. Alderman Hammond. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on this motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Um, number section eleven. Oh, let's see. No, we, we do other matters. Ten. Other matters. Yeah. Okay, other matters received after the agenda was published. Item, please, uh, City Attorney. Thank you. 10.1 is an RO from the City Clerk submitting a communication from the Wisconsin Department of Administration stating that the resubmitted Sheet 2 of Miller Field West has been reviewed and the Department does not object to the final plat bearing the March 10, 2016 revision date. That uh, one will lie over. 10.2 is a resolution approving the terms and conditions of the development agreement between Sheb Pro LLC and the City of Sheboygan. That will be referred to the Finance Committee. 10.3 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2016 and June 30th, 2017. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 10.4 <clears throat> is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a communication from Brian Meyer expressing his concerns regarding two incidents he was involved in with Shoreline Metro. That will be referred to the Transit Committee. 10.5 is a resolution by Alderperson Wolf uh, approving the terms and conditions of the parking and access lease agreement by and between the City of Sheboygan and 8th Street Sheboygan Housing Corporation. That will be referred to the Transit Commission. Okay, next is item number 11. Uh, notice to discharge the Capital Improvements Commission. Alderman Hammond. Alderman Hammond. Move to discharge. Second. Thank you for that motion to discharge. All those in favor of discharging from the Capital Improvements Commission, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that we take uh, 11 1, move to file 11 1 through 11 7. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, that motion is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Number 12 is a notice to discharge Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. Alderman Hammond. I move to discharge. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any? Uh, then uh, we'll go on. He has to move then too. Yeah. Okay. All those. Okay. Okay. We we have a, a comment on the motion to discharge, Alderman Jose. I uh, just want some clarification on what we're voting on. This um, this this disband the. It, one issue, or does it disband the committee in its entirety? No, at the end of the council year, all the committees have to get rid of all the documents in their folder. And these uh, 
these other committees are not standing committees, so you can see some of these documents have been sitting in their folder for quite some time, and this is an effort to clean those out um, so that uh, as the new council year starts, uh, they won't, won't have any existing documents, only the new ones that would be referred to them. The only issue I have is at the committee of the whole meeting last week, we referred to this committee the issue with the um, what to do, whether to spend $4 million, $7 million, or $11 million on the uh, new city hall. So... Um, so that they, we would not be throwing out that document as well. No, that one will stay there. Okay. Okay, so on the motion to discharge, is it, all those in favor, please signify. Oh, I'm sorry, Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, originally, this was my document, and I submitted it to Strategic Fiscal Planning, I think, back in April or May. And uh, I was kind of surprised to see it come up uh, to be discharged, uh, but we are getting close to the end of the council year, so uh, I was hoping that the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee, uh, especially in lieu of the fact that we have about a structural deficit of $2 million for next year on our budget, and unless it's a given that we're going to continue the garbage fee, I was hoping that the committee may, may take a look as an alternative to the garbage fee, uh, maybe looking at a priority-driven budget process. Uh, so I guess I'll go along with filing it tonight uh, because it's the end of the council year, but I think it's something we should take a look at, and I would urge my colleagues on the council, the, the document that's attached is very, very long, but I would ask you to, if you have time, to look at page 7 of the document. It's called The Anatomy of Priority-Driven Budget Process, the introduction, and I'm not going to take time to read it tonight. But I thought the document was very well done. It was, in fact, it was passed on to me by a member of the Sheboygan County Board. And there's a number of cities and counties throughout the country that, that were in this study on priority-driven uh, budget, and they, all, they, all, they already do it. So uh, when the new CA comes on board and he gets his feet on the ground, I'll probably schedule a, a Get Acquainted meeting with, uh, with Daryl. And I think one of the topics of discussion is going to be at least to consider this priority-driven budget process, if it's too late to do it for 2017, to possibly at least give it some consideration for 2018. So I'll go along with filing this tonight, but uh, it may resurface again. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of discharging, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion? Aye. Motion passes. Um, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the file. Second. Thank you for that motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of filing, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion. Would the clerk please call the roll to adjourn? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your attendance tonight. Thanks, Donald. He was in fine voice.